memorialize the people of Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty because today they are our Statue of Liberty. They are our symbol of hope. They are the symbol of freedom that is uniting all peoples of the world to bring down the tyrannical, dictatorial, theocratic regime of the Mullahs and Khomeini and Ahmadinejad in Iran today. And thank God for the resistance of the people of Camp Liberty and Camp Ashraf, because it's their fight that has galvanized the international community. Now, in my country, we finally delisted these resistance fighters from the national list of terrorist organizations. Because what could be further from the truth than the very organization dedicated to freeing the people of Iran, freeing the world of this regime, and freeing this world from the largest state sponsor of terrorism. So let us take a moment and understand why it was so important to finally have full recognition of the MEK PMOI as the leading democratic resistance to the mullahs in Iran. Because today, whether it is internationally known or whether it's internally known, Iran is a threat to freedom everywhere. Thanks to the PMOI, we know more about their pursuit of nuclear weapons. And I call on my French friends to once again be leaders and recognize the Iranian resistance of the MEK and the resistance led by none other than Madame Rajavi as she seeks to bring democracy and human rights to her country in Iran. Finally, let me say that the delisting of the MEK is so timely because we need to have a solution to the Iranian crisis that is a true Arab Spring and reflects the people's resistance. Only the MEK has been able to organize all the Iranian diaspora in the resistance movement. And as we see the economy within Iran crumble, as we've seen the conflict between Khomeini and Ahmadinejad make the future untenable, as we've seen the closing of the door on whether Iran is going to pursue a nuclear weapon be imminent. We are seeing a moment in time when having the MEK become the organizing operational resistance movement to allow the world community to not only stop the mullahs in Tehran, but to embrace a new Iran led by an organization that celebrates the human rights of every person, that celebrates the rights of women, that celebrates the rights of rule of law, that celebrates freedom. We should not only be against the mullahs in Tehran, but today we ought to be for Madam Rajavi and the PMOI, the MEK, as the organization that is going to bring about the new democracy that we all hope for that country that has for too long lived under the oppression, whether it was the Shah or Khomeini, the people of Iran have been imprisoned by dictatorial regimes. And as the Arab Spring goes throughout the Middle East, it will ultimately not come to pass for any country in the Middle East until the Arab Spring comes to the country in the Middle East that has been the main 
impediment to freedom throughout the Middle East. Thank you very much.